All right, you guys, you see the title of the video? I'm going to show you an easy way to make this pot pie. Very simple and easy. This is great for families when you're in a rush. Welcome back, my home cooks and chefs, to the Urban Culture Kitchen, you guys. I got something in store for you guys. Many people have been loving my chicken pot pie, so I'm about to recreate it with a little twist on it. So I'm gonna show you the ingredients that we have. So definitely you got to have a pie crust. You got, I got one chicken thigh, boneless. You got Uncle Steve's seasoning. We're gonna be seasoning up the chicken with black pepper, a little lime. We got some chicken bouillon, heavy cream. And you know, we got as well as we got some chopped up onions and we got a cup of peas and carrots. And you're probably wondering like, what's that over there? Well, I'm gonna make this simple. You know, I always say work smarter, not harder. So this time I'm gonna make it real easy for you guys. You know, especially a lot of those, you know, some, um, home, you know, moms at home that wanna just get home and do something. So this is gonna be pretty easy. You know, you don't have to add all the stuff that I'm about to add into it, but it's gonna give it a little bit more volume and thickness when you make this uh, chicken pot pie. What we're gonna be using is this chicken, broccoli and cheese, potato soup. From Campbell's. Now, you know, I mean, y'all know we're gonna have many people out here saying, like, you know, say you're doing it, you know, from a can. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're doing, we're in a you know, holiday season, you know, you wanna whip up something real quick. This is a really quick and easy dish, you know what I'm saying, to do. So, you know, we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna show you how you can make a similar, authentic, you know, a, a chicken pot pie, you know what I'm saying, the easy way. All right, so let's get into seasoning up the chicken. You know, uh, you know I'm gonna grill this chicken up. So first we're gonna do is use Uncle Steve's original. If you haven't, check this man out. Check out Uncle Steve's seasoning. You know, uh, um, really good. You know what I'm saying, uh, nice guy. And if you order, you might get a little something extra. So I'm gonna use this. I did wash my chicken for all those that, that are uh, uh, chicken fanatics wondering, did you clean it, did you wash it? Yes, you know what I'm saying, I always thoroughly clean it. This is lemon, just add a little lemon. You know, so you guys could say it might be a binder, but it just, I wanted a lemon flavor, so I didn't want to use lemon pepper, because, you know saying, it's going to be straight Uncle Steve's original shake, so I want to get the full, you know, say experience of his seasoning, you know, with a, with a little lemon, uh, uh, stuff like that. But yeah, season it up, you know what I'm saying, thoroughly on all sides and stuff like that, and no, it's not a lot, because his season is not salty, so, you know what I'm saying, season it up thoroughly. So, you know, you get this, I'm gonna let this sit around and marinate for about probably 15 minutes, you know, until the uh, Ninja Foodie uh, uh, Smart Grill uh, finishes up. Right, you guys, so you know, we're gonna get ready to, you know, start making the filling right now. Uh, the, the oil was up to temperature, so we're gonna add the onions in. And with the onions, you know, so they won't burn, this is a trick, add some water. Now the temperature, that I have it on is on medium. So that's about 275 uh, degrees, you know, Fahrenheit. You know, all we're doing is doing this, we're just purpose for this is just to uh, saute the onions, get them, you know, a little softer. Cause you don't want to be having no crunchy onions in your pot pie. So that's what that for. So let it, uh, we're gonna saute it down. And as we're doing that, we're gonna add the rest of the aromatics. Now you can add, it, it's up, it depends on you. You can add about, tablespoon of chicken bouillon seasoning in here for flavor because we're gonna add some other little uh, ingredients so the, the chicken flavor, you know, saying may, you know, saying might drop. So just add it in there, but add it to taste, whatever you, you know, whatever you like. And add some uh, black pepper, probably a teaspoon. That looked like it was more, yeah, about a teaspoon. And next, we're gonna say, we'll, you know what I'm saying, Stir it around, mix in all your ingredients, stuff like that. Let it, let it come to, let it cook down a little bit. Cause we, you know, we don't want it too watery cause we want to still keep it thick. So the next we're going to do after it, you know say we're rendered it down a little bit. So, you know, once it comes down to where you see that the onions are translucent, you're going to add in the rest of the ingredients. The onions are translucent. As you see, it's time to add everything in. So you can pretty much turn off the, uh, turn it off completely. 
you know, because now we're just gonna assemble it, you know what I'm saying, uh, in a warm, lukewarm setting, because we don't wanna put it in the pie crust hot. You know, uh, and that's what I do. Some people do it differently. So first thing you're gonna do is add in your cream. This is heavy whipping cream. If you, have, if you had a real chicken pot pie, you know it's real creamy. Add in your peas and carrots, depending on how much you like. That's about probably half a cup. You know, say so if that, probably one third of a cup. And then you add in the grilled chicken. Yep. So fold it all in together. Yep. All we're doing is just thickening it up, you know, putting more chicken in it, because, you know, in you know, can, you don't really get everything you like, but it is a little easier, you know, but like I said, you don't have to do this step. You can actually just get two cans and put them in a pie, uh, pie pan crust and put, you know, and, and top it all off. Now this is real thick and creamy. So that's why I like it, you know what I'm saying? And just pour it over. It has thick potatoes, thick potatoes in there. It has a little broccoli. You know, I like mine a little vegetable, you know what I'm saying? And this one is a cream uh, chicken, broccoli and cheese, so it's a little cheesy, so it's cool, you know. But like I said, to each his own. They do have a chicken pot pie camel's one if you want to use that. But like I said, you can do this in many different ways. You can also do it if you want to like to do it, you know, in uh, with a uh, uh, beef pot pie, you know what I'm saying? You can do the same exact way, same thing. All right, you guys, so it's done. And what I'm gonna do is put it aside and we'll get to the pie crust. All right, so the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees for your pie crust. Now, I preheat my pie crust because I don't like to heat it up while it's still doughy. I like to still have it a little bit done. This actually cuts down the cooking time. So once it gets to 400, 400 degrees, we're going to get into, you know, putting the pie crust in the oven. So I put my pie crust in the oven. It's about done. It's got, once it gets about that, looks like that. It's time to take out, you know, and get to assembling the pie. All right, so what you're gonna do is put your oven on, you know, saying 400. Mind you, all these uh, um, ingredients that we're putting together are fully done. All we gotta do is just actually finish the, the pie crust and that's it. So just put it on 400, you know. And what we're gonna do is fill in the pie crust. So. Now, it's done, the pie crust is fully, it's not fully cooked, it's kind of halfway cooked because I didn't want to, like I said, have my filling not, you know, uh, uh, fully cooked through. I do not like a gummy uh, chicken pot pie. So it has, a, you see it has a lot of potatoes. Like I said, this is cutting down a lot of time, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, you know what I'm saying? This actually, you know what I'm saying, is a way easier way to make a chicken pot pie. Because, you know, I mean, you, you can do it a long way and stuff like that, but a lot of us, you know what I'm saying, we are real busy and we don't have that time. So we want to, you know, get it over with, you know, and get it together. Because, you know, we've got families that may be hungry, you know, that's looking for us to hurry up and, you know, cook stuff. Especially those little ones, those <laughs> little munchies. You know, you know, as husbands, we'd be hungry too, so. This is a great dish. This feeds, you know, about a good family of four and stuff like that. So, and all you gotta do now is assemble the pie crust. You know, what you do is, is you get your pie crust, you know, this is already pre-done, I didn't make it. You can actually, you know, say flatten it out. I'm not gonna do all of that. You know, we're not gonna make this complicated. And what I'm gonna do is roll it up, put it on its end. That's the easy way to do it. And put it over. Make sure it's all the way around fully. Make sure I center this. All right. And so what you want to do on the sides? Nah, now nah. I like crust, so I'm not taking anything out. Just roll it, roll it back, roll it back. And just do that all the way around to fit the pie pan. You know, the more crust, the better. And just keep doing it all the way around until it's done.
Now it's not hard, like I said, to do it. Now what you can do is just cut it to size. But like I said, I wanted to use every piece of this pie. So like that, this pie crust. So it's done, but it's not really. And what do you, you probably wonder, what do you mean? Well, you know, the oven is going on, but what you want to do is put some slits in your crust because it may rise, it may bubble over, and you want to give it some vent, you know, in your pie crust. So just go around it. Because you're probably wondering like, man, I always see that on a pie. And that's just to vent it to give it some air so it doesn't pop on you or run or something like that. So on the sides, now you can like make an imprint of it all the way around or just pinch it to the pie crust at the bottom and just already in there so it can stick to it once it starts cooking. And once you do that, one of the steps I did forget was making sure we don't forget the egg wash your, you know what I'm saying, pie crust. So, you know, uh, got some uh, uh, whipped up eggs. I just go all over it. And this is for the shine. If you don't want to do this, you can skip this, uh, you can skip this part. But, you know, for those that know, you know, they know egg washing gives it that pretty look. So, just get it all the way around as much as you can, however you like. So let's go over to the oven and put it in, guys. See it's ready to cook. All right, so we got it in the oven and we're gonna see how it turns out when it's done, guys. Well, fam, um, it came out wonderful. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. I can't wait to, you know, get a bite into this. You know what I'm saying? Definitely check out Uncle Steve's Shake. This is the original. You know, it's excellent on a lot of things. It's a very all-purpose seasoning. You know, but back to the chicken pot pie. You know what I'm saying? This is amazing. I love chicken pot pie. My mom, this is her favorite. You know what I'm saying? And I hope this is your favorite. This is an easy way, you know what I'm saying? Simple and fast to make chicken pot pie. You know what I'm saying? I'm your chef. Casey, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe to get these wonderful dishes. We're going to be having plenty of them coming out, so definitely subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.